All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol FCEL, Fuel Cell Energy Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, Fuel Cell, yesterday I went ahead and kind of rambled on about my story and experience when this was a penny stock. And I honestly never thought it would reach these numbers in just a year. Um, probably I didn't even think it would happen within five years. I thought it was going to take some time. I was being realistic, you know, two to three dollars was a probable, you know, number and it passed those expectations fairly fast. And it's been above that price for some time above the two dollar, three dollar mark this year. And throughout the year, you know, it was bouncing around, got close to a dollar, some change and it bounced back. But I came across this ticker symbol way back in these times at one point where it actually was around a few cents and it ran up and then I got back in it at one point and I was actually stuck in it throughout this whole time. And as soon as November came and it started running, I got out and from that point forward, it's just been growing. I went into detail about some of the things that went on in November and December that actually have to do with today i like looking back in the past as well because sometimes we forget about how a company or how anything in this world reaches to where it's at right now we don't look at all the hard work or the efforts or the transitions or innovations that created this effect right to see this go in this direction this doesn't just happen because the chart wanted to make it happen it took the company's effort, innovation, and also opportunity taking or creating opportunities. And then here we are now, way past any expectation that I ever thought this was going to be valued at, which was anywhere in that range, like I said, two to three dollars. But I had already had a terrible experience holding for some time when there was a penny stock. And I talked a little bit about how greed sometimes can kick in. I talked about that in the video and I also talked about how it's very important to, you know, rationalize uh, your decision uh, very well and to sometimes uh, look at things based off the chart and not based off of speculation and stuff. And also how sometimes you think you, you did the right move and you got in or out on the right time and then look at everything that's happened throughout the year. I forgot all about it this year and i think i i looked at it one time earlier in the year i was like oh it's above a dollar it's around the two dollar mark i feel like it's a little bit too late and i always thought about wow this was once like 12 cents could it ever go back to that so i don't want to be caught up at the peak of you know the hill but then always going back i was i looked back at the news and the things and the catalyst that formed this rise from way back in November leading to December. And there was some great news with Exxon Mobil. They also had a big contract for the next 20 years um, with California. And I believe that this company has the opportunity to exponentially grow. I'm actually paying close attention to this chart to see what's going to happen in the near term. See if I can probably jump in and get a position. Right now, the volatility is a little bit high. It did run up. We did see already a slight pullback, but this support is holding up. I want to watch it. But anybody that's already invested, if you feel very bullish about it, what is it that's making you feel bullish? I looked at the history of the company and I was based off of, you know, that um, tick ticker symbol, right? And the experience that I went through with fuel cell when it was a penny stock I, I that's how i remember this company and sometimes i think about if i would have just taken my profits on a slight position that i took break even and leave my stocks there which is what i like to do with penny stocks and held it to this point i mean it would be tremendous gains i think we it would be almost any uh, eight thousand percent return if, if you really think about it but i didn't think much of it i actually once i got stuck with it for a few months 
from that September to November, slightly end of October phase, I was just willing to get out. I just wanted to take my profits and get out. Um, it was a small profit instead of looking at the long term. And then these articles started to come out. And then I was trying to watch it again. I got tired of it. It passed way past what I expected it to be at. It touched the $2 mark way before. I didn't get any entries before that. And like I said, I forgot all about it. And here we are. Fuel cell is competing in the same market of hydrogen fuel and hydrogen batteries and hydrogen type of innovation of energy technology and plug powers in this sector as well. And there's other um, companies as well and fuel cell is up here trying to take up that market share and it's doing pretty well because I should have just let it clicked from the beginning I was so focused on the charts like the numbers right that's another thing that I want to advise people instead of focusing on the company because the company is a clean energy source company I mean that's a no-brainer that even if it didn't get funding before or if it's going to get it in the near future or even if it doesn't get it, clean energy at some point is going to be supported by some large investors that believe in it. And so far, it's been proven and it's proving itself. And here we are with this exponential growth. I believe that fuel cell has room for more growth if it continues to innovate, continues to show profit and show revenue coming in and i would love to see what you guys think i really appreciate everyone that talked yesterday in the comments and shared their thoughts i look forward to the new subscribers that want to step forward and talk about it or any investor that's coming across this and feels like sharing any knowledge or any information that i may have overlooked or any news recently that is not just creating this catalyst but can potentially continue this catalyst because of the great stuff and innovation that's going on with fuel cell currently. So let's look at this chart. So resistance was broken through 50 day moving average was broken through and we're currently at the highest point reached in the day and it's 892. This is our resistance 892 that needs to be broken through. It could be broken through now in after hours or could be broken through the next trading day. Now, as long as the bulls stay above the 50 day moving average, they have leverage. But I had stated yesterday that the most important resistance level is up here at this point, And that's 10.05, 10.06, give or take. I know that this candlestick is the highest point, but this probably lasted for a few seconds or a few minutes. This lasted for 30 minutes. And I kind of want to really focus on this number, 10.06, 10.05, give or take, that needs to be broken through to reach new highs. And new resistance levels so you can see that the bulls are working their way towards that they're currently at the highest point of the day 892 needs to be broken through if it does in the aftermarket hours if this is higher in the next three hours or next two hours actually because it's about to be six and aftermarket hours is until 8 p.m then this could be on its way to newer highs and pay close attention to that number but right now, 892 is the most important point. The 50-day moving average is 847. I want everyone to write that down. As long as we're above it, bullish territory. The moment we're below it, we're in bearish territory. So let's go ahead and move our support. This is the lowest point in this upward trend. And that is 803. That's what the bulls don't want to happen. And what the bears are aiming towards making happen, right? If that gets broken through two things have been broken through the bears have broken through the 50 day moving average and gone into bearish territory and the bears have broken through support and they're moving further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction getting them deeper into bearish territory pulling down and getting further and further away from the 50 day moving average so i want to emphasize to all investors pay close attention to how this stock is reacting if it breaks through 803 and Another point of reference is this lowest point before the bullish run of the whole entire day, and that's 691. Watch the behavior between 803 and 691 to know where this is going and if the bulls are trying to reappear or are the bears 
tearing this one down fairly quickly. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video.